Welcome everyone to Hardware News this morning. Live here from our headquarters. Um, some some breaking news. Wait, what? MIPS Inc. of former Silicon Graphics fame, of course, uh, becomes Risk Five member there and CPU core producer. So apparently that is uh, most likely the end of MIPS. Of course, the last decade not the most development while. ARM, well x86 of course as well, but ARM Risk v has seen a lot of development. Of course not very much happened on the MIPS side. Um, there uh, certainly lost most of the competition in the ARM Wraith there in Embedded. And while sure they still have some IP sales in the router space of access points and switches and, and stuff, the vast majority of the mobile market of course under control of ARM. So yeah, that's mostly the end of an era after MIPS as a company as you all probably know from our previous videos or previous SGI fame here passed uh, around a lot over the last decade, last part of WAVE computing before uh, they were also part of um, Imagination or creator of PowerVR graphic there and um, yeah wave computing ill-fated io uh, AI, I, I, oh yeah ai startup ai isolator hardware that apparently didn't went very well and um, brought them brought the entire mips organization but yeah last but not least now they have stopped apparently mips development joining the risk 5 wagon and um, it's of course an interesting choice. I mean, of course, if you don't have much success for a decade, um, you probably might want to look elsewhere. And similar to the previous video, where we did the IIT, actually in this IIT video, fastest, oh, actually the IIT, I have the, the logic board. Anyway, previous video, IIT, the integrated information technology or so company, I actually said I didn't, in a quick internet search, figure out what became with Zen, but actually they're still around. They also made graphic cards, uh, fun fact, and they renamed later, they are around as eight, eight by eight voice. So yeah, the company that previously made math coprocessors and graphic card and stuff, um, yeah, this became eight, eight x eight or eight by eight or something leader in um, voice over IP stuff. So yeah, if you are not successful with processes, just do voice over IP. Um, right now it's like, yeah, I wanted to check news straight from Ips. It's like, yeah, gateway timed out and it apparently went very well with probably all the tech news and everyone checking there what's their press release. So yeah, whatever. Uh, I wonder how successful will they will be. Um, of course, uh, I said this before, it would be interesting if AMD had more of their Opteron, ARM-based Opteron offerings with Zen-based microarchitecture with ARM front-end, which of course currently they don't do. Uh, maybe in a decade to come, AMD and Intel will be forced to do Risk v for example, if x86 continues to run more into the complexity wall um, that is the instructions and architecture. But in other news, um, meet Raspberry Silicon. I wanted to make a video about this already some months ago, but somehow it was not the very most important, but I so I quickly combine this with the MIPS news because this is the other end of the spectrum. They announced there at the end of January, not too long ago, a little bit over one month, the availability of the microcontroller class product, the Raspberry Pi Pico, priced at four dollars. So it's like yeah, previously five dollars for the zero, no four for that, and you get significantly less. I would say also the Raspberry Pi Zero probably nearly never really sold for five. It probably was more like twenty, a little bit of an advertising. Um, scam there if you ask me, but you get significantly less because this is only if you think, hey, tiny little bit thing you run Linux, like, yeah, not really unless you run microcontroller UC Linux, because this is a MMU-less ARM microcontroller, brand new chip, and what I have the huge question mark is why? It's like, why? For what? Who asked for this? Because um, there are of course thousands, and if I mean thousands, I'm not aggregating. There are literally, most likely even way more than a thousand different microcontroller things. Um, of course in ARM, but MIPS, RISC-V, 
Um, even Piotr uh, from, from One Bit Square, they have um, that also previous video, the keyboard controller. Um, so this is such a saturated market and of course also totally uh, low price, right? I have, uh, I really wonder why they felt the necessity to enter that market um, crowded, totally saturated with not one hundred, literally more than thousand, if not ten thousand options to choose from, from anything from one bit squared to um, AliExpress. And um, I wonder if their resources would not be spent better elsewhere because they have not e even simply chosen like with uh, big Raspberry Pis where they just use the Broadcom socks. They freaking developed their own sock, and that um, here is the uh, RP2040. Um, here is their own Raspberry uh, Pi uh, silicon now, and this is I question this with Apple. Of course, Apple's A and M sock pretty successful, but of course only used in Apple products and. Of course, right now they are successful. I wonder if Apple can continue to be successful and not like in 10 years have the same issue of the other companies in the whole industry potentially being more innovative. And of course, you can't buy it there. I much more prefer focused CPU cores instead of each company doing their own. And we have exactly this here, right? Each company doing their own, although they likely, of course, have licenses from ARM. But if they make such a four dollar part why not use existing silicon this is just like the usual yeah we, we desperately need to do silicon um, because everyone in apple and uh, every fruit company now has their own silicon uh, some people i saw on twitter are pretty happy with the documentation this is of course one thing it's like yeah we did our own sock because the other thousand or ten thousand socks have shitty documentation of like yolo whatever we just clobbered something together in, uh, in in some basement in china until it freaking worked a little bit with bugs and quirks and not very well working features so the only the biggest pro of this thing um according to my uh, twitter bubble and verse there's like yeah at least the freaking documentation is freaking good so two thumbs up for that but otherwise i really wonder if this is a um, time and resources best spent imagine how much time and resources this small raspberry pi raspberry company spent on that also probably a lot of this are ip blocks so maybe they 90 percent clicked ip blocks together but correct me if i'm wrong um so here you also see what this has dual arm cortex m so this is m for microcontroller stuff zero plus at 133 megahertz just a tiny bit of less than one megabyte sram 16 megabyte flash because uh, 640k obviously should be enough for everyone some pll's gp opens two uarts two spi two i square c 16 pulls with modulation channels usb 1.1 and 8 PO state machines and um, they also have to see a raspberry pi number of course which type of course uh, floor looks like yeah the ram stuff that's like yeah so much ram it is zero of oh wait a second oh, this i moved there anyway four um and yeah okay they have good documentation but the rest is like yeah also is the who will make her verse really looking for yet another small micro um, i would argue mostly not of course leave me in the comments below what you think and we will see in the future um, the only thing is i would actually argue it i would personally find it twice as or more impressive if it would have been risk 5 like mips technologies there going that route because then we would have one quality risk 5 thing but maybe this is a uk brexit thing of not invented here and we desperately need to use arm because I, in my opinion this would have been significantly more amazing if this would be risk five base but between not invented there and maybe compatibility in some ide stuff of yeah having at least arm of course vastly different feature set of the big raspberry pies and the 
tiny little micro here, but at least ARM um, over MMU and not Linux and so on. But yeah, compatibility there, but otherwise um, this would be, in my opinion, significantly more useful as worth five. Anyway, leave in the comments below what you think of this. Is this is, yeah, is this the end? Probably that is the end. Probably no, no questions asked, but leave in the comments below. This probably, yeah, who should still do any MIP stuff if even MIPS goes risk five. Um, maybe that is good for all of us to have better risk five stuff, but time will show how successful they are there because even there, of course, just going risk five is not the magic way to fix this um, declining company because of course risk five competition is rather um, large. Every new kit and company around the block and cheap uh, no nameish manufacturers who already created 10,000 of ARM socks now do risk 5 already. You find some already in AliExpress, small little risk 5 bots like this. And speaking about uh, risk 5 bots, maybe last but not least, this um, high side, whatever, always forget the image. Somehow this name doesn't stick the most. Uh, was it hi fi something? Um, yeah, somehow not the most uh, high five. No. Hi. Sci-5. Sci there we have this. Sci-5. This unmatched Risk 5 board that I had pre-ordered. I had a shout out to that some uh, winter ago. And I ordered that. Um, this is delayed. So previously, at the end of last, last year, of course, not the most Apex thread ripping performance, but should be relatively okay-ish. Probably like the Pine Phone previous video of like, yeah. Uh, they upgraded this and then of course the price not the lowest 667 um, or so dollar not the lowest for this kind of performance but at least they upgraded the ddr memory from 8 to 16 after the announcement which was pretty nice keeping the same price however it's still not shipping right so the initial target was shipping i think um first of january or something if i recall correctly or, or end of december the delivery date keeps slipping the the current the previous estimate was end of december january now we had 15th of march or something this is also not happening my order from mauser um i got a, again a shipping change for first of january uh first, first of first of january first of uh first of june uh, we will see if this happens the problem of course at the end of last year the performance already not the most outstanding of course the most outstanding risk five desktop alike of course epic thread ripping is something else but at least somewhat usable for general purpose risk 5 development system um, the problem is of course six months delayed is quite some time the next horizon thread rippers already shipping and, and other of course not risk 5 but other intel and stuff silicon of course not the same competition wise but six months is rather long um, i would have really prefer to have this in the beginning of the year to make a risk 5 development year here so we sit here months after months and quarter after quarter six months relatively long i wonder if it will be shipping in june what is also a little bit strange is that since i ordered this i anyway what i can we also click oh do we need to click there does it load something no. hello um since i ordered this it changed um according to law and regulations mauser cannot ship deliver this product in your country um this was not there when i ordered this in december so it's like yeah whatever is up with that or this is just their mouse of like yeah yolo whatever we're not we don't know if we ever get this but yeah i wonder if i will ever get this because this note makes me a little bit um wondering what's going on with it anyway that is all the risk mips and raspberry pi arm update leave in the comments below what you think um don't forget to like and subscribe for uh, eventually risk five bots obviously if they ever ship and um, otherwise stay healthy and i hope to see you soon for the next videos hardware and software updates to come